Well, guys, we need to talk about Tucker Carlson here in this video. Tucker is one of the last few remaining journalists out there because the quote unquote journalist is nothing more than propagandist for the most part. But uh, Tucker, he's on his own right now. He's able to go out there and do whatever he wants to do. He's not tied to Fox anymore. He's actually in Russia. At least he was anyway, because he interviewed Vladimir Putin. Now, when it comes to the whole Russia and Ukraine thing, the mainstream media wants you to be quiet. They don't want you to ask any questions. They just want you to pay up to Ukraine. And Tucker said this before. Most people can't even locate Ukraine on a map. That's probably true. Why in the world are we giving all of these resources to Ukraine? Does this actually serve in the best interest of America? I don't think so. But the left, they're like, no, we must support Ukraine. They got that um that matrix download. They don't want you to ask any questions whatsoever. We've only heard one side of it, the mainstream media's narrative. Tucker, out there in Russia, actually trying to give you another story. Hear from the other side. That is true journalism, guys. But the left, they are panicking right now. They don't want you to hear this interview. But his interview is actually going to be on um, his own website. I believe it's uh, TuckerCarlson.com and also on X. Elon Musk has vowed to actually play the full interview. I, I believe is actually going to be unedited, too. Now, Tucker does have a YouTube channel. I'm not exactly sure how YouTube is actually going to take it, you know, but thank God for Tucker, man. Thank God for Elon Musk, too, as well. Because many people are going to be able to hear that interview. Now, the mainstream media, you know, they want to say that Tucker is a Putin apologist, that kind of thing. No, Tucker is nothing more than a journalist. So he put up a video explaining why he's actually doing this interview. And the mainstream media, man, they're in full blown, full blown uh, panic mode here, too. So let's talk about it, guys. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a become a channel member. Memberships have started five dollars a month. Remember live stream every single Friday. If you're watching on Rumble, uh, click the join button, get access to the same thing. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Over here on X, Elon Musk actually puts it out on X. And this is what Tucker has to say. Around four minutes here. Let's go ahead and play it. As soon as I get the sound going doing that soon. We're in Moscow tonight. We're here to interview the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. We'll be doing that soon. There are risks to conducting an interview like this, obviously. So we thought about it carefully over many months. Here's why we're doing it. First, because it's our job. We're in journalism. Our duty is to inform people. Two years into a war that's reshaping the entire world, most Americans are not informed. They have no real idea what's happening in this region, here in Russia or 600 miles away in Ukraine. But they should know. They're paying for much of it in ways they might not fully yet perceive. The war in Ukraine is a human disaster. It's left hundreds of thousands of people dead, an entire generation of young Ukrainians, and it's depopulated the largest country in Europe. But the long-term effects are even more profound. This war has utterly reshaped the global military and trade alliances, and the sanctions that followed have as well. And in total, they have upended the world economy. The post-World War II economic order, the system that guaranteed prosperity in the West for more than 80 years, is coming apart very fast, and along with it, the dominance of the US dollar. These are not small changes. They are history-altering developments. They will define the lives of our grandchildren. Most of the world understands this perfectly well. They can see it. Ask anyone in Asia or the Middle East what the future looks like. And yet the populations of the English-speaking countries seem mostly unaware. They think that as nothing has really changed. And they think that because no one has told them the truth. Their media outlets are corrupt. They lie to their readers and viewers. And they do that mostly by omission. For example, since the day the war in Ukraine began, American media outlets have spoken to scores of people from Ukraine, and they have done scores of interviews with Ukrainian President Zelensky. 
we ourselves have put in a request for an interview with Zelensky, and we hope he accepts. But the interviews he's already done in the United States are not traditional interviews. You see that, guys? He's going to interview Putin, and also he wants to interview Zelensky. He wants to tell both sides of the story. The media, they don't want you to see both sides. They are fawning pep sessions specifically designed to amplify Zelensky's demand that the U.S. enter more deeply into a war in Eastern Europe and pay for it. That is not journalism. It is government propaganda. Propaganda of the ugliest kind, the kind that kills people. At the same time, our politicians and media outlets have been doing this, promoting a foreign leader like he's a new consumer brand. Not a single Western journalist has bothered to interview the president of the other country involved in this conflict, Vladimir Putin. Most Americans have no idea why Putin invaded Ukraine or what his goals are now. They've never heard his voice. That's wrong. Americans have a right to know all they can about a war they're implicated in. And we have the right to tell them about it because we are Americans too. Freedom of speech is our birthright. We were born with the right to say what we believe. That right cannot be taken away no matter who is in the White House. But they're trying anyway. Almost three years ago, the Biden administration illegally spied on our text messages and then leaked the contents to their servants in the news media. They did this in order to stop a Putin interview that we were planning. Last month, we're pretty certain they did exactly the same thing once again. But this time, we came to Moscow anyway. We are not... Wow, wait a minute, hold on. Did you say Biden was trying to uh, stop him? Hold on, let's see here. Let's go back real quick. But they're trying anyway. Almost to back. know all, right. all they can about a war they're implicated in. And we have the right to tell them about it because we are Americans too. Freedom of speech is our birthright. We were born with the right to say what we believe. That right cannot be taken away no matter who is in the White House. But they're trying anyway. Almost three years ago, the Biden administration illegally spied on our text messages and then leaked the contents to their servants in the news media. Wow. They did this in order to stop a Putin interview that we were planning. Last month, we're pretty certain they did exactly the same thing once again. But this time, we came to Moscow anyway. We are not here because we love Vladimir Putin. We are here because we love the United States. And we want it to remain prosperous and free. We paid for this trip ourselves. We took no money from any government or group. Nor are we charging people to see the interview. It is not behind a paywall. Anyone can watch the entire thing, shot live to tape and unedited, on our website, TuckerCarlson.com. Elon Musk, to his great credit, has promised not to suppress or block this interview once we post it on his platform, X, and we're grateful for that. Western governments, by contrast, will certainly do their best to censor this video on other less principled platforms because that's what they do. They are afraid of information they can't control. But you have no reason to be afraid of it. We are not encouraging you to agree with what Putin may say in this interview, but we are urging you to watch it. You should know as much as you can. And then, like a free citizen and not a slave, you can decide for yourself. Thanks. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be uh, checking it out. Definitely am. Um, but the left, man, they don't want you to see this here. You know, they're already calling and Tucker all kind of names, you know, like a puppet for Putin, that kind of thing. Uh, look here. Benny Johnson here puts out <laughs> Lib. I am furious about an American journalist interviewing Putin. Traitor. Me. You're right. Let's lock up executives and reporters from NBC News, Bloomberg, the AP, Showtime, 60 Minutes, Lib. No, I'm talking about Tucker Carlson. Me. You know, CNN interviewed Osama. Yeah, that's true. Because um, look here. Uh, Showtime interviewed um, Vladimir Putin right there. Right here in the next picture, NBC News interviewed Putin right there. The AP, they interviewed Putin. And this next picture here, I believe that this is 1997. I believe this is actually CNN interviewing bin Laden. Yeah. They don't want you to um to watch this. They want you to believe the mainstream media's narrative. Now look here, Jen Saki over at MSNBS. Uh watch this here. It might be worth asking yourself, since it is getting pretty serious, what is this really about? 
Why do I hate Putin so much? Has Putin ever called me a racist? Has he threatened to get me fired for disagreeing with him? So why does permanent Washington hate him so much? If you've been watching the news, you know that Putin is having a border dispute with a nation called Ukraine. Border dispute is certainly one way to characterize a major military invasion. Of course, Carlson is now just another far-right conspiracy peddler with a show on the Internet. He's no longer on Fox, as we all know. And he's apparently been spending the last few days in Moscow for some reason. Who knows? We don't know why. He has to stay relevant somehow. So I guess we'll learn in the coming days. Maybe. It might be worth asking. Wow. They call him far-right. She's not the only one here. Look here on um, CNBC. Tucker Carlson set to interview Vladimir Putin. And right here at the end, what do they call him? The far right commentators interview with Putin will be released on that. in the media startup Tucker, Tucker Carlson dot com. Far right. Th- these people, man, the mainstream media is pathetic. They are absolutely pathetic. I h- highly encourage everybody to watch this interview and then make a judgment for yourself. But the mainstream media doesn't want you to think. You know, this is what communist regimes do. And the mainstream media seems to be full of communist men. But uh, thank God for Elon Musk. Thank God God for uh, Tucker Tucker Carlson. That way you guys can actually watch and judge for yourself. I know I'll be watching, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.